What's wrong? Nothing. Sweet, nothing's wrong. Whew. Wait. Hi, this is Jackie and Bobby with Ascension Presents. Mm -hmm. Today we're talking about how to argue, how to fight well, how to communicate. How to argue in a healthy way. It can be done. It can be done. Question mark. Yeah. Um, I feel like today in our culture, you know, obviously a lot of us are, we don't like conflict. So we don't want to just, we just don't say anything. And so in our relationships, we just let them it go by, go by, and this resentment grows. That's not good. That's not good. Then the other side I've seen is a lot of people um, look at reality TV shows and they see these relationships that are completely dysfunctional and they think, unless my relationship has fighting like that, this dysfunction, then it's not real. It's like, okay, there needs to be a balance. You can discuss things in a healthy way. You need to, in a relationship, discuss things. Um, you need to discuss your expectations. Um, when someone has hurt you, you need to talk about that because if you don't, resentment grows. And um, I think it's been said over and over and over again, the number one reason people get divorced is a lack of communication. Um, if something, you know, you just don't talk about things. We're going to talk today about how, how do we do this? How do you um, argue in a healthy way? What? Listening. Number one, listening is uh, the first key. <laughs> no, it's true. Uh, when mm. we get in an argument, I, I want you to hear, instead of just saying this, 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 it's like, I want to actually present to you, okay, when this happened, I felt this way. And uh, not for you to be like, well, no, no. It's like, no, listen, this is what I'm saying. So, yeah, people just want to be heard. They want to be listened to. Well, and sometimes, often, when we get agitated, there's something going on beneath the surface. So what's really causing this outburst? What's really causing this frustration? And maybe the person feels like they haven't been heard for a long time. Maybe there's issues that we're just not listening to each other. We're talking over each other. Or maybe I'm trying to win a fight and I care more about winning a fight than actually listening listening and moving forward as a couple. Recognize when you're trying to avoid conflict and yeah. face it. And I'd say that temptation to run, uh, which all of us experience, the healthier thing you can do is just to face it. Uh, to maybe not say the very first words in your head because those may be overly destructive. Right. Don't but, say something you're going to regret. So yeah, take so, time if you need to. Yeah, you've heard the expression goes, don't go to bed angry. Yeah, you need to vocalize things. However, you also want to not say something you can't take back later. So and when, you're, you're melancholic. Like, you need to process. So sometimes I know that he needs to sleep on it, and the next morning he'll apologize. Because normally with you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it takes me 25 hours to admit I'm wrong and apologize. And I know it's going to come. I just know he needs to sleep on it and be like, nothing less. I'm, I'm sorry, babe. You know. So I know he needs his time. I need my space. Um, so, okay. So when we were dating, this, when, that's when we had to learn how to argue. I told him there were a few times I said, listen, you're not in seminary anymore. You can't just run to your room, close the door, and not talk about this. We need to talk about this. So you, you need to express your um, expectations. So I remember one time um, I travel a lot and speak. So I was like across the country. He said, I'm going to call you at this time. And the time came he was hanging out with a friend and he didn't call me and I'm thinking I need to go to bed it's like midnight here I need to wake up at six in the morning so I had to express to him listen if if you're hanging out with someone's going great if it's not, if it's past this time at least text me you know say say hey I'll call you in 30 minutes okay that's great but I can't just sit by my phone or sometimes I'm busy I can't just be sitting by, by my phone waiting for you to call so you need to share your expectations now I will say if you are in a relationship with somebody that you can't express your expectations and you're dating, get out of that relationship. Because if you can't communicate because you're afraid they're gonna break up with you, that's not good. That is not a good sign. You don't wanna be married to that kind of person that you feel like you're walking on eggshells, like I can't bring this up because they're gonna break up with me. Um, break up, because that is not a good relationship. You should be able to, I will say one of the reasons I knew that Bobby, that there was a difference in this relationship versus any other relationship was, after arguments with Bobby, I would love him more because I, I would come to understand him more, we would forgive each other, I would learn his heart more. In other relationships, every time there was an argument, it was like, eh, it made me feel worse, it gave me more anxiety, like, oh, I didn't like how that was handled, Ugh, I don't know. But with Bobby, you know, we would get in these arguments and have whatever, and then we would talk it out, I'd get to know, okay, like the time, um, the mowing the lawn thing, 
where I was, I emasculated him. And this is again, women, we do this. And I mowed the lawn, it was an hour plus of time and work, yeah. and there were five leaves left on the lawn, like and that's the only thing she said. Leaves. Okay. No, she's like, what about the leaves? Instead of saying, first of all, thank you for doing that, yeah. and putting that work in, could you pick those leaves up? So to learn, I, to affirm you first, I'm right? I'm still angry. Oh, so it's okay, man. Forgive me. I forget. <laughs> But again, I've had to learn if there's something that I'm going to critique, again, affirm, like, thank you for doing the dishes. Could you also make sure that next time... Could you or, make sure you do them well? <laughs> could you make sure you actually remove the food? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Use I feel, I feel statements. Because then it could say, hey, listen, I felt really hurt when you said this. Um, could you, you know, this is what I need. I, I would love for you to affirm me first and then say this. Um, in another situation, if like say Bobby did something, I could say, hey, um, next time when we do this, just give me a heads up. Like it, then I won't be so angry. Like ne next time. And that's how you can phrase it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I had to do that with a friend recently and just say, hey, next time this comes up, it's no big deal, but this would really help me out if, if this, you did this, you know. You can't under communicate. No, communicate, communicate. Recognize too that if, if you're out to, I want to win this argument, to again, let that die, let that sentiment, okay, you may be right, the other person may be right, and, but it's not about a battle about who's right, it's let's move forward in this relationship, how, especially if we're people of faith, how are we moving closer to God because of it, how are we forgiving one another, yeah. how are we being transparent, and again, living in the, in the light here, avoiding conflict, just repressing any kind of issues it maybe better better in the short term but it's gonna pop up down the road at some point when and it may explode later yeah. sometimes you don't people don't even think or realize they hurt you you know it can happen right. like you do something it, you didn't it wasn't intentional and so sometimes we think oh someone's out to get us they meant to hurt us no sometimes they just didn't know and so to bring up like hey um, again, like it hurt me when you said this. And I, oh my gosh, I, I, I've had people do this to me. I've had friends who care enough about our friendship are like, Jackie, you said this and this really hurt me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that what I said, like, listen, I would have never said that if I knew that it would have come across that way. So um, we teach our children even, you know, when, when one of them hurts another, we say, I go, Abby, you know, say, I'm sorry. Go hug and say, I'm sorry for doing this. You know, I'm sorry for hitting you. And Zaylee will say, I forgive you. So even to ask, you know, to say, I'm sorry, and to say, to say those words, I forgive you. Um, let's move on. Let's learn how next time not to do that. So make sure to always share your expectations. Um, that's why engagement is tough. Or that's why sometimes the first couple years of marriage are tough because you're learning how to argue healthy. Now, some people don't ever... That's why maybe sometimes year seven is tough because finally people are learning, they can um, learn how to say things. Don't wait till year seven or year 20 of your marriage to learn how to communicate and fight because um, it might be too late at that point, but it's never, it's never too late to learn how to communicate, but. That rhymed. It's never too late to learn how to communicate, how to communicate. <laughs> oh, <God>. Don't repress <laughs> the issues, don't hold dysfunction like reality TV as some kind of ideal. Again, find the middle way forward to walk together, to make your relationship, uh, to bring it closer to God, to be transformed. Yeah. Um, and the more you practice, the easier it gets. Um, I know with Bobby, we're gonna be with each other till death do us part, so I know we have to communicate. With other friends, there are some times I'm like, well, maybe I don't have to bring it up because, I don't know, I don't see them all the time. With Bobby, I absolutely have to because we're married, we see each other every day. I don't ever want to have resentment in my heart towards my husband. So for us, I know when we get in an argument, we both kind of take our, some time to process what is actually at the core, and then we know we have to talk about it at some point and say, okay, this is what's going on. Um, but we've learned how to fight in a healthy way because we're not called to dysfunction, okay? We're not called to be in dysfunctional relationships. We're called to have healthy communication um, and to learn how to love each other more. And I think that happens when you communicate what's going on in your heart, what's what's going on. So I know we're, we'll are we pray for all of you that um, are non-conflict, you hate conflict people. I'm gonna pray that God gives you courage. Um, so Holy Spirit, send courage upon our hearts. Pray for courage. If, to, when you need to bring something up, say, Holy Spirit, come, give me the courage to say what I need to say. Say what you need to say. 
Say what you need to say. From all of us at Ascension <laughs> Presents, God bless.